A beautiful day here in Chicago land, 60 degrees, sunny. It's been horrible, man. It's been raining every day. Last couple of days were really brutal. How are you guys doing? All right, let's wait for some folks to come on board and we are gonna chug along here. Go check some stuff out. There's one really cool thing here at the cemetery I'm gonna show you today. Once we get some friends, but it's a Saturday. I don't know if we're gonna get many people today. Peggy's here. What's up, Peggy? How you doing? Tanya's here. And we got Teddy Mack. Howdy Potna. Howdy Potna yourself, Space Bears. What's going on? Yeah, we're going to give it a go a day early. What's happening? Carol's Space Bear. I love Space, space Bears. Julie, Jules, Jules Kitch. How are you doing? Hey, Kimberly, how are you? How are things in Philly? You guys got a lot of rain out there right now? So I'll bring you some sunshine. Kelly C. from Vancouver, Lions Lambs, how you doing? Probably have a small crowd here today. Kind of uh, thought I'd get in and I didn't want to do it tomorrow because of Mother's Day. Always got plans, I assume. Aaron, Helen, Allison is with us. Live from a week to at Bohemian National. You were at Bohemian? Did you go see if Little Feller's tombstone is in. We gotta go back there. It's gotta be in by now. If it's not in, gotta go in the office and have a word with those people. Angie. Trisha's here. Trisha H. All right, let's go to walking. Let's let's do some walking here. It's a beautiful day. If the wind starts getting too crazy, let me know. I brought my earplugs with. I'll try to keep an eye on what you guys are doing. The sun is bright here. Cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs there. Peggy. Peggy, where are you at? You're in Jersey, right? Hey, Brenda, what's going on? Pam's here. Dawn Taylor. Man, we needed some better weather. We needed some better weather. Eh, needed some better weather. Nottingham. Nottingham is here. Robert Williams. The land of Robin Hood. How's it going? The boots are made for walking. That's right. Ohio is sunny. Ohio, Ohio. I'm going to go to Ohio, I think, maybe even next week. I have one story, boom, down and out. But I don't know if I'm going to do that story. I got to find out. It's, it's, it's one of those stories where it's like an issue. There's something bad going on. So I need to see if if it's still happening because it's like a six hour drive hey space bears don't write so much it's flying by i can't read it you got to keep the notes short like rose grace here great to see you live tina says hi 93 degrees in texas yeah i'm not surprised texas is usually warmer than chicago let me lock my car here before we start heading out is anybody from Chicago here with me? Don't make me cry. <laughs> Charlotte in the UK, how you doing? And we've got Ireland here. We've got Amaya, is that how you pronounce it? From Ireland. Chicago born and raised. Man, it's moving by pretty quick here. That's Aaron. All right, have you guys used, did you guys watch Bozo Circus ever? Mr. Ned, Bozo, Cookie the Clown, any of you guys? You know, I was going to do an episode on all those, the whole WGN thing, but Bozo is cremated. What's his name? I can't even remember his name. And then there was Ray Rayner and uh, Frazier Thomas. It, they're all like cremated. Tracy Smith, $10, thank you. Of course, my nickname's Clutch Cargo, you know. Why am I, why am I, why are you looking at me? I forgot to turn the camera on, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's better. How's that? You wanna look at graves, you wanna look at me. Bozo Circus is on the air. Hi, Ron, coming to Minnesota at all? Yes, Max. Actually, I have, 
I'm coming through Minnesota. I have a couple stories there, but I have one story that I, I've got to get. It's, I think it's in South Dakota. And I'm just waiting for the weather. I'll be coming through, so I might stop and do a story. I've got a couple, but yeah, Bozo Circus. So the cemetery I'm at now, one of the clowns was buried. It's the only cast member that actually is buried in a grave. And I think I know where he is because I was going to do an episode on the whole WGN, Bozo Circus, Ray Rayner, all the all of them. By the way, BJ and Dirty Dragon, remember him? He just died. I want to do his, but he's been cremated, ashes unknown. So no grave. Ah, it's a bummer when there's no grave. Laura in Elgin, what's going on? Tommy the Cat's here. That's right, Tommy, he was such a clown. So we're going to see Cookie the Clown. He's actually right up here. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, that's so funny you mentioned that movie. Who brought that up? I. That's like a, a funny cult movie. I watched that several times just laughing. It's so bad. Durwood's here, five bucks. Hey buddy, um, I was out there this morning. Listen to this, you guys. So Durwood gave me a lead yesterday on the story of a woman named Peggy Lynn Johnson. You are not going to believe this story. I swear you are not going to believe this story. What happened to this poor woman who was, uh, what do they call it? Mentally decognitive. She, she trusted a woman, a nurse, and this nurse like made her a slave and then murdered her and all kinds of bad stuff in between. So Deerwood, I went there this morning and I shot the episode and I ran it. This is the fastest I've turned one around because the woman is getting sentenced in two weeks, two weeks from now. So we got to get this out on the radar screen. So it's coming out right after this live. I've got it set at 415, but once the live is over, I will, I'll run it. Wait till you hear this story. I was at her grave this morning, literally three hours ago. Bozo's gravestone, a clown, no. So the, the guy we're looking for, he's right around here, is Roy Brown. I think it's Roy Brown. He was Cookie the Clown. Bozo Circus, uh, Melody's Coloring Cafe, thanks for the two bucks. Yeah, we got a lot of good stories coming out. So did you guys watch Bozo Circus ever? Now he's right around here and we gotta like find him. So I gotta focus here for a minute. Cause I remember it was by this bush over here. Is it windy? I gotta try to point the camera. Okay, how's that? Kendi Company, thank you for the 10 bucks. Yeah, tell me if the wind starts to get annoying, I can put earplugs in. Oh, uh, let's see here. So I'm just kind of looking here for his grave. I know it's right around here. Roy, I think it's Roy Brown. Yeah, here it is. Cookie the Clown. Here you go, guys. Found it right away. Roy Brown. Whoops, hold on. We've got some technical issues going on here. I hate the sun. The sun is always in the way. All right, my gimbal's giving me a hard time here. So, all right, there's his grave. Let's come from, let's come at it from this side. Nope, I guess that's not good. Oh, I hate seeing the gimbal. Drives me crazy. Oh man, there's like no way I can do this. So we're just gonna have to look at the, the, gim, the, the little gimbal I got on my phone. So yeah, our beloved Cookie, who left behind a legacy of love and laughter for children of all ages. He died in 2001. Cookie the Clown, you guys ever remember seeing him? And there it is. There it is. Oh man, is it nice. Where do we want to walk? There's not, there's a couple of cool things that are cool to see here, but mostly these memorial parks, they don't have grave, you know, the big gravestones. Carrie Dean loves these walkabouts. Hey, it's Cheryl Daggs, how you doing? Who else we got here? We got a small crowd today. 
you know, usually do this on the Sunday, but I thought it was better than nothing. We'll get something in before. I didn't want to do it on Mother's Day tomorrow. I think it would be kind of disrespectful to try, you know, intrude on all you moms. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. You guys got plans? Are you going to the Mother's Day brunch? Flowers? Got to get flowers. All you husbands, all you, all you fathers of the mothers, not of the mothers, with the mothers. Look at this up here. I don't know what this is. I'm going to check it out. You know, there's a mausoleum we can go check. I have not, I have not checked the cemetery out except for Google Earth. And there's a really cool place here where there's tanks. So we're going to, we're going to see that last. So let's see what this is. Ashley's a working. Hey, how's Facebook? Are you catching? I think Ashley's catching me. I think I'm at like 8,000. I mean, you're just a few hundred behind. Maybe you passed me up. Ashley, where are we at? Ashley wants to sleep in for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to my wife. Thank you. We are going to go do a brunch with our son, Nathan, who is officially, he is you know that? My son, just in the last two months, passed me up. He's 6'6 and growing. He can slam that basketball. He can almost do a windmill on the real deal. 5.6 Ron, what's that? Oh, 5.6 5 on Facebook? So that means I'm at 6,000. Oh, you are catching me. Where am I at on Instagram? 6,000, I think. Oh, the wind. Here comes the wind. We're up high. Tell me if the wind gets bad. I'll put the earphones in. There's a good sculpture up here I'll check out. Was Cookie buried in his makeup? That's a good question. I don't think so. But he should have been. Oh, these are like praying hands. No, he is not, HH, he is not done growing. He's probably got, when I was a freshman in college, I grew another inch. And he's been following my whole growth pattern exactly. So I'm guessing he's going to be, what's our Facebook page, uh, page name? Faces of the Forgotten. Ashley can put a link in for you right here. Look at this beautiful bronze. Oh, there's a picture of a girl here. Look at this. I wonder who that is. Somebody died young. Hmm. I wonder if the picture maybe got lost. Maybe another inch to go? Yeah. No more Chuck E. Cheese for the birthdays. No more Chuck E. Cheese. Remember Chuck E. Cheese with the little kids? Now my niece, they'll go to Chuck E. Cheese. You know what? We can go out this way. Let's go out this way. Let's check out what's over here. Tommy the cat was six feet tall when he was 14. Wow. That's pretty tall. Did you play basketball, buddy? Oh, let's go this way. I want to come. I want to check out this mausoleum. Hopefully there'll be no one there. It's kind of a busy Saturday. Cemeteries. Hey, Leslie Wyatt, what's going on? Is that the Chapel Hill Cemetery, you ask? No. I'll tell you after I'm done. Or you can just look up Cookie. I can't even remember the name of the cemetery. You guys tell me. It's in Arlington Heights. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah Jern, for the 20. That's very generous. Thank you. Never wanted to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, I don't blame you. That place is really, my gosh. I walk in there. I The last time I walked in there, which was a long time ago, I thought my head was going to explode with that music. Nessa falls asleep to my videos. Well, that's cool, I guess. All right, should we take a look in here? Okay, that's locked. No, well, maybe this whole thing's locked. Is Jeep Girl here? Oh, I got to give you an update. 
that everybody's doing on uh yeah bummer looks like we're not going to be able to get in there we'll check one more door here gotta have a key gotta be family but you know there's i don't think it's i don't think it's anything yeah it's nothing ex nothing too exciting as mausoleums go i mean here's the open mausoleum see if we see any pictures look for a take a quick look for pictures Jonathan Cousins likes the videos. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. So what are you guys doing today? What are you doing today? I don't have much plans. There's no pictures here. Not one picture, guys. Oh. Hey, is Donald Netzel? Donald, is Donald on board here? Is he with us? He's one of our faithful viewers reason i ask is he when he was 10 years old when donald was 10 years old he grew up right where i grew up in niles and at the pic picnic grounds there there was an accident where three little three little girls lost their lives they were hit by the train and i went to the train trestle he gave me the whole story he was there like he was going in the woods he was 10 and he was going in the woods with his friends they were cub scouts and they got near that deep woods where the trestle is by and it was over the river a branch of the chicago river and he said they decided to turn around they started getting scared because the train the tra a train came by they're going like 90 miles an hour it was the milwaukee road hiawatha those old diesel engines and as they were walking out, there were four little girls that were following them or going the, his way. And they kept going. They, they went up there and it was a bad deal. So I went, I went in there and then, of course, we went to their graves because they are, I don't want to say they're forgotten. They're not forgotten by family, but it's a long time ago. I think it's 1966. Where were you in 1966? Cynthia's granddaughter's golden birthday. Seven on the seventh. How cool. That's cool. Is she gonna spend Mother's Day with you, I hope? Look at all this water here. I better watch where I'm going. Out of focus. Well, that's just the streaming. Now I'm walking right into the wind. Hopefully the wind isn't, if you get sideways to the wind with the phone, it'll, I'm keeping it pointed this way. So as uh, Jeep Girl is with us, Penny, so the Bell Gunness update, guys, Penny and a few others have been working really hard to we're working on like two things one where are those children buried did they put them back or are they still in the lab in a file cabinet and one of our other viewers did find out and talk to the doctor the research people they were they say they were reinterred at forest home so we're going to get a letter they're sending us a letter and once i get the letter thanks dylan for the five bucks it is a beautiful day here once we get the letter, we're going to confront the cemetery people who told me that they were not reinterred. I just want to find out if they're, but the bigger thing, and Glenn Whitlock, I don't know if Glenn's with us today, there is some activity out west in LA on this Esther Carlson. So I really want to find out, but you know what we learned and he told us is that, or I heard it from somewhere, one of the gang. Isn't this nice? Look at that. Thanks, Lydia, Granny. Loving the videos. You know how to tell a story. Thank you. I am a storyteller. I do like to tell stories. Tommy the cat. Hey, Nanogram, glad you made it. So Esther Carlson, they said that there was a couple of witnesses when her, when she died that came from Laporte or wherever that knew her, that knew Belle Gunness. And they said, oh, that's her. But one of them said, oh, she had this mole on her face and this 
Esther Carlson didn't. So the only way to know is, yeah, if it gets too windy, let me know, Robert Cobbs. I'll put the earphones in, you guys. Let me know if it's too windy. I can just throw, you know, maybe I should do that. I'll just do that. And then we don't have to. Yes, it is gorgeous, Leslie. Hey, Ruth here. All right. How you doing, Ruth? How you feeling? I know Ruth's been under the weather. All right. I'm going to put the headphones in here. Hopefully they kick in. You know what? I don't know if I can do this after the fact with Bluetooth. I don't think so. We're going to have to muddle through it the wind. So anyway, Esther Carlson, definitely want to find out if that's Bell. I definitely want to find out. Glad to hear it, Ruth. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear you are feeling better. Let's go take a look at this columbarium here. See what's going on. I'm just going to do a little walk today. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. When are you sending the transport? What transport? What do you mean, Peggy? Oh, I don't think the Bluetooth's going to work. I just tried to hook my headphones in. And I would have to take the live down. Thank you, Lori, for the 10 bucks. I'll try to keep the camera pointed in this direction into the one. It usually works pretty good. Larry Borkstrom is here. What's going on, buddy? How are you? Josie or uh, Joselle Swopes, live at the hospital. Well, that's cool. You know, I don't see any pictures here. Much better pointed that way. Okay, I'll, I'll just like, now I'm kind of out of the wind, so I can pan it a little bit here. Give you guys a look. Larry, how's that beard doing? Love your beard. You got that beard growing? Looking good in that beard, man. I had a beard for a while and it was too itchy. I did it for one year. My sons wanted me to they have the beard. So all of you that came late, you missed Cookie's grave. Cookie the clown. That was more of an unplanned, unplanned one. Yeah, the wind is dying down a little, so that's good. Yeah, no photos, Peggy, not one. You know how we love the photo. One of these days I'm going to do a live at Mount Carmel. I have not done a live there. I've only done 20 episodes there, though. That is my favorite, and Bohemian National, where I have done, I think, two or three live streams. I think Bohemian National is still my all-time favorite. That's right, Lair. Happy Mother's Day, you guys. Happy Mother's Day. Tommy, are you going to send me some more stuff on the story in New England? That one you got for me on the Wicked Witch, another witch story. You know, I'm going to save that for Halloween. I've got some Halloween stories already going. You know that? I'm going to, I'm going to try to have another good month, another big month for Halloween. So as I collect them, I'm going to save them. All right, now we're looking downwind. Hopefully the wind is okay. So we got that uh, right after this live. I got an episode coming out, and then we got that one tonight. But, Tommy, I think you were going to send me some more info on that. Maybe not. I mean, we're good for now. I'm not going to Connecticut. I'm not going till late summer now. It's going to be late, you know, probably August, early August. That's when I'm going to go. Connecticut, Rhode Island, Maine. What else? Vermont. We'll catch a little Vermont again. Any of you that have not are new, you can go to the playlist. I think I did seven or eight in Vermont last year. Oh, man. That's where Tommy got that good story of the vampire. Not the usual vampire story that you keep hearing over and over on YouTube. No, Tommy had the, had the good vampire story that nobody heard about. 
Happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Count the clock. Hope you guys are going to a nice brunch. Not a lot to see here, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, when am I headed to Arizona? I'm like eight or nine days away. And I do, Cheryl, I have that story at the top of my list. I will do that story you have for me. Hats off to Cheryl Daggs. She did a bunch of research for me on a Wild West figure. Not the usual. Nope, you will not guess it. Sorry. Because that's what we like to do. We don't like to do the usual stuff. Most of the time, I mean, Bell Gunnis was pretty heavily done on YouTube. But I I had that Esther Carlson. I was just intrigued. I just wanted to do that one. You know what got me on that was when Kimberly said, hey, they are buried in Forest Home. I, I've been for a year. People are asking me to do Bell Gunnis. And I'm like... No, there's no grave. I don't I don't do cenotaphs. But she found the grave. The graves. So hats off to Kimberly. But YouTube did not like that episode, everybody. YouTube hit me hard on that. And they also rated it as because of the gross pictures as not appropriate for those under 18, which is fine. You know, sometimes you got to have a morbid, gory one, right? You guys morbid like me? I try, you know, I try to keep it not too morbid, but sometimes you got to unleash. Like for Bell Gunnis. <laughs> Where is it overcast? Overcast in North Carolina. Hi for Michigan. Hi, uh, Renee, is it uh, sunny there on the other side of the pond? Other side of the little pond. How's the other side of the big pond? Anybody from England here? I know I saw Nottingham. Jacqueline likes that morbid stuff. We just like to see inside those coffins, don't we? So we're, okay, so let's, let's investigate this little pond here. I should have brought my fishing rod, guys. I used to have a little fishing rod when I go golfing. And there's a golf course in northern, uh, central, not northern, central Wisconsin called Black Wolf Run. And the docked with like trout, rainbow trout, northern pike, all kinds of big stuff. So I used to catch fish as I was playing golf. Look at the ducks. There go the ducks. Oh, this looks like a really pretty area. We do have blue skies. Check it out. Look how blue those skies are. Not a cloud in the sky. You guys want to see a blue heron? Or is that a sandhill crane? Oh, there he goes. See him go? There he goes. We get a lot of those around here. Look at this, this is a nice little pretty walk. I gotta point it into the wind though. Yeah, we call this the wildlife channel, right? Yeah, I know, no deer. <laughs> Peggy Harris called it. It seems like wherever I go, it's like the wildlife. Isn't this pretty here? I feel like I'm in Ireland on the coast. Oh, this is very calm back here. This is where I would say, I would bury me here. You guys like this? Look at that. See where those flags are? We're gonna end up in there. That's where the tank is. Michelle says the Salem witch, the witch trials. Yeah, I did, already did seven in New England and I'm going back in August. And I did a, well, I didn't do a witch there. I'm not gonna do the Salem witches because they're not buried there. They're just, it's just fake cenotaphs. There's nothing there, but just words. And I like to go to graves. That graves intrigue me where they are really at. And that story has been done a million times. So the witch stories, I got two really, maybe three really good witch stories in New England that, and maybe a vampire, another vampire story. So yeah, August. And I'll release those all like in a row. Look guys, still no pictures. Not one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that granite work. Hartman, 
It's a beautiful vase, but the only Hearts Club band here. Live, love, laugh, celebrate. 1955 to 2018. Ashes. Isn't this pretty? Leslie loves those witch stories. Did you see my witch stories that I did already? The one in Woodbine? I kind of did a combo. We went to a warlock's grave and we looked at the warlock's grave, but I also told a lot of witch stories going all the way back to like, I don't know, the year 800. What other witch stories? So we're gonna have some more witch stories. Oh, I had witch stories over, look at my Halloween stuff. We did the, in central Illinois, a really good witch story. The ball, remember the wicked ball? The sphere, that was spooky by the cornfield. Melody, no trains, no trains. Can you believe it? There is someone who passed away recently. All right, let's go in this area here. See this area that's surrounded by these bushes, these well-trimmed, beautiful manicured bushes? We're gonna go in there. There's a World War II tank and other cool stuff in there. Let's go look. A picture, guys. An organ donor. Oh, we gotta stop for Paul G. Miller Jr. Look at this. Look at this. We got a picture. Now, Paul is an organ donor, so he lives on November 10th, 1985, April 23rd, 2019. And look at that. Yes, that is a full, he liked his light beer, so it's fire department. I'm not sure what village that is, but I. it looks, well, he's, he died in two years, what, two, three, April, three years ago? You think he would have a stone by now? Let me look over here. Paul G. Miller, no, there's no Paul G. Miller. Boy, I hope he gets a, a, a one of these, one of these bronze granite markers. Huh, what do you think? Oh, it's really calm and serene back here. This is beautiful. Tommy the cat can't wait to see what stories you have for Ron. Nana says, yeah, Tommy the cat's got a good one. Looks pretty spooky. Yeah, New England is kind of a really cool place to go. I'll probably hit Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Maine. Got a few stories in Maine, but I still need more stories in Maine. I've only got a couple of good stories in Maine. But you know, I think what I'm gonna do when we when I go is I think it's gonna be more, it's gonna be stories, but I think it's gonna be adventure, like just exploring to find cemeteries and find old stones. How do you, what do you guys think of that? Not necessarily have to do stories and, and mur murder stories and all that kind of stuff all the time. It's like explore. I'll just I'll post a lot of episodes from just road driving, just road tripping through like say Rhode Island, and all of a sudden it's like, oh look at that mausoleum, pull over and go in. Go in for like a half hour, post it, keep doing that. It's like road trip adventure. Come along with me. You guys like that? What do you think? That sounds like fun. I like to do things like more unscripted. So it's like you guys feel like you're, well, it's like you're along with me. But the one I'm gonna put out right after this live is, was shot just three hours ago. Three hours ago, so it's kind of semi-live. So you'd be like with me here, like this live. So here we go, let's, let's go see some World War II. SG, 15 bucks, thank you. Now what cemeteries do you see this? Nine fly one, five bucks with the fox, thank you. Where do you see this in a cemetery? Well, you do, you see some of this stuff, like Mount Carmel has the artillery guns, right? Tommy, Cat's, Tommy the cat likes the idea. 
Now, this is my favorite tank. I think this is Vietnam. Now, I'm not, I'm pretty sure this is late World War II or, no, this is, this is like Korean War. Might be Vietnam. What do you guys think? Any tank, any tank experts? Looks like Korean War, maybe early Vietnam. Look at that. That is really neat. James Bond Cool. You have a few locally. Where are you at? Pam, Pamelina. Is it Pam? Pamina. Pamina. Did I get that right? Yeah. Look at that boy. See the kid, the little boy in me wants to climb. I want to go climb on this thing. I want to see it. You are an organ donor, Lori. That's very cool. On your driver's license. Give life to others. Yeah, this thing's in really good shape. Look at these wheels. Hello from Alabama. How you doing? This is like a T-35, World War II. I think this is later. This is definitely later. I, I agree. It's not World War II. I think it's Korean War or Vietnam. We'll give this a good look over, guys. See if there are any clues. Look at these cables. I wonder if these are like tow cables or something. Look at that. Check that out. Those cables are over an inch in diameter. And here you can see the turret, how it, how it pivots. I don't know if you can see, hold on. I don't know if you can see in there. Let me try and get you an angle. Let's go in. See in there. Ah, there's a lot of glare. But look at the look at all this stuff. Here's a giant hatch. It looks like. Isn't that neat. Look at this. Look at this rear gear. Amanda Panda, how you doing? Washington State. I know. I gotta come there someday. I do have stories. I am going to go to, there's my number one story is in the Dakotas. Well, this is pretty neat. So we're, Tom, what do you think? Melody, bury me in a tank. Jerkstein, Farabend, $10 for sure. Thanks for coming along. Just a small crowd today, a little impromptu on a Saturday. I know everybody's probably out and busy, but I didn't want to do tomorrow. I didn't want to do tomorrow with the the Mother's Day, all the mothers. I wonder how much a tank like that costs. I think it's more like my airplane. It wasn't crazy expensive, but it was more that it's the upkeep <laughs> and fuel. Amanda's an organ. Am am a organ, just not sure how much they'll be able to use. <laughs> oh boy. Hello from Holland, Annie, how are you? Wow, Fawn Harrison, $49. That's very, very generous, thank you. Where should we go from here? How long are we going? We got 38 minutes, oh, we could do a little more time. Let's go this way. Oh, you know what? We could pay respects to one of the children who died in the bus, the train collision. If I can remember where she is, I think she's up here. There's no graves here, by the way, right here. I'm doing a little shortcut here or Mary here. It's a lot of open space. So the episode that's coming tonight about the, the little girl who was electrocuted is at the cemetery that is actually connected to the cemetery in Joliet where David Stuckel is buried and his father, you know, just passed away. And that's why I went to his grave because I was right there. Probably Kimberly, I know, hit, was hit pretty hard with that story. That's probably the one of the hardest, toughest stories. Look at this tree. I think that's been hit by lightning. Few times maybe. 
All right, we are into the wind. All right, let's make our way over here. I'm gonna pick up the pace here because there's no graves here. Hey, William, how are you? Where are you at? Freddie was stepping over the books, too painful. April's been to England. Man, I look forward to going to England. I was in London like three years ago on business before I started this channel. Oh man, I could have taken, like I could have shot right over to Highgate. Maybe next summer, guys. I think next summer, Edinburgh and London. Good chance it's gonna happen. Nanogram, yeah, you're right. Even on a sunny day, if that cell comes through, you never know when it's your time. You know, I did that episode on that little Filipino, Filipina girl, just minding her own business, reading a book in the park and then taking God's will, right? Tommy, are you playing that guitar? Ruth Tester, have you ever been to, have you ever been to London? So what's the difference? You you donate your body for organs or you can be a do, donate to science. I guess it's research, right? Liverpool? Yeah, definitely. Give me a story in Liverpool. Tempt me to come to Liverpool. I need a story. Maybe an old ship captain that his body washed up. A cool shipwreck story. Liverpool, isn't that where the Beatles are from? Not from, but isn't that where they... Tommy's still playing. Okay, good. What kind of guitar you got? Fender? Yorkshire is beautiful. The stadium disaster in Liverpool. Okay. I'll make a note of that. I will make a note of that. Where can we go? Oh, let's go this way. It looks like an interesting... Looks, looks like a mausoleum or something way over there. Let's see if there's some graves. Do I have a captain's hat? I do not. Captain of what? A ship? Captain of the airplane? I was captain of my own airplane. Yeah, Highgate. I, I'm going to do... Mary Shelley and Bram Stoker, but and, and there's one story you'll never think of at Highgate. There's one story I'm going to do, and I'm gonna give no hints, but something nobody's done. Nobody's found, really cool story. But I really am not gonna focus much on Highgate because I feel like, well, it's kind of a touristy place. Pilot captain? No, I never had a pilot hat. That would be kind of corny for like a eight or 10 passenger plane. Especially, I'm, I'm not a commercial, I'm not flying commercially, so. Hey, we found some more graves, still no pictures. The only picture was the guy who was the organ donor. Can you do the catacombs? Oh yeah, is that in Italy? Isn't that in Italy or France? Highgate, or is that by Highgate? Yeah, Highgate, we will, Ruth, we will definitely hit Highgate. I will take you to Highgate, but I'm not gonna go crazy there. It's like a tourist destination and I just, and it's been done again, it's been done so much on YouTube. I really, it doesn't intrigue me that much, but I do wanna do the story about Bram Stoker and Mary Shelley. And I try to focus on things most people don't know. Oh, you are so blurry. I'm sorry, that's not my, um, that's just streaming 
That's too bad if it's blurry because there's some beautiful tulips here. Aren't these beautiful? Look at that. What a picture, huh? The birds are out. This is like the sign of Mother's Day when I see this. That's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day! It's called the Windy City. Well, actually, it's called the Windy City, not because of the wind, because of the politics. You know that, right? Nathan Carlson, so cool to join. Oh, Nathan is here? Oh, that's scary. Nathan, are you here, my son? My six foot, 10 inch son? He just got back from a workout today. He's like bodybuilding now. And he beat me in arm wrestling with no problem. Hey, hey there he is. What's up, Nathan? How's it going, buddy? Wow, I'm honored. My son is here with us. That is just unheard of. Aaron, five bucks, thank you. You know, my son can dunk it with no problem. Both of my boys can't, but Nathan, Nathan's really getting up there. You gotta work on that tomahawk dunk, man. Just like we were watching last night, the Sixers. Joel, there's no Joel, by the way, it's Joel. That's like a family, inside family joke. Joe, it's Joel. There's no Joel. I'm not accepting that. Oh man, I'm walking through some water here. We are underwater, guys. Now I gotta tell you something. If there's water sitting here, those vaults down there are filled to the top. It is buried at sea. You know, most people, like when they when they exhumed Marilyn McIntyre, you know that episode I did? And I did not show the pictures, but there are pictures online of her casket. It was filled to the top with water. She was buried at sea. So a lot of these people, I know my uncle and my little cousin, they're always underwater. I always think of them down there. They're just like encapsulated in water. The Masons. This is the Masons, guys. What do we got here? We got a prayer. The book. Nathan, what's going on? What are you gonna are you gonna tell us what you're doing today? I wanted to take I wanted to take Nathan golfing. He loves golf now, but he doesn't want to go today. I was gonna go golfing for nine holes after this. Come on, Nathan. Let's just go hit a few. Let's go this away. Totally exploring now. Oh, oh, Nathan, awesome. Got the maybe. If anything, we could just hit the driving range too. Chicken wings, Nathan, chicken wings. We'll get some wings, some hot wings. This golf course has the best hot wings. Amanda, what are you doing? How's the weather up in Washington State? Oh, you want windy two weeks ago. 50 mile per hour winds, me and Danny were out there golfing in the wind. Just, we didn't care. We were loving it. Ooh, let's go through here. Let's explore, guys. Bill Travis is with us. What's going on, buddy? Who's the better golfer? I am, of course. But he just, Nathan just told me, he was bragging that he outdrove me. And you know what the old saying is, Driving's for show, putting for dough. So they got a, they got a long way to try and beat me in golf, but they will someday. I'll bet. Okay, we gotta find. We're gonna find some pictures, guys. How's the signal? Now I'm echoing. echoing. Leslie, do you play golf, Leslie? Amanda says, parents, we're going to do brisket on the barbecue, but it's supposed to rain. Ah, you can still do it. Under, oh, look at this. Look what we found. Another surprise. This looks like revolutionary, guys. Look at this. This is beautiful. You can hear the drum. Look at that, guys. That's a famous painting, right? 
Yeah, I don't know. It's I've got three bars. It's probably gonna come in and out. Good old YouTube. Yeah, that's the drummers. There's no inscription here. Look at that bass. Then you got the guy with the flute. I had this music playing for that one episode I did in Tennessee and Nashville. It's a nice statue, huh? Jeep Girl says, Mr. Ron, answer Aiden. I'm curious. Okay, what did Aiden ask? I did not see. I was looking at the... Repeat the question, please. What did Aiden want to know? I will answer. The fife and drums. That's right. The fife and drums. Aiden says, Ron, if you are in a cemetery and the rapture happened, what would you do? <laughs> what kind of question is that? The rapture? I would, um, I don't know. I would grow wings and fly. <laughs> I would just, you know what? I would stand with my arms out and say, take me. What is the rapture? Isn't the rapture the end of the world? Tell me what the rapture is if I'm wrong. So this is interesting. Oh, these are for cremains. So if you want to, you, you want to know what it looks like behind these. There you go. They're like plastic boxes. Plastic boxes, and then these are full casket. These are for full caskets. It's biblical. Thanks, Shar, for the two bucks. A certain set go to heaven. Yeah, that's when you gotta. Yeah, I guess that's when you gotta really pray. So, 19 Stephanie. Whoops, sorry, guys. Stephanie, 1933. 1953. 2012 so you got the Mother's Day cards and the family picture isn't that beautiful I don't know if you guys can see that Mother's Day beautiful we've got a little more to see here it's when God calls you home Elizabeth thank you for the 20 Thank you so much. Yeah, we've got to go see, speaking of the money, we've got, so we're go ahead on Joe Reinholz and Troost is now starting the process, getting that statue. And we got to see if little Willie, that's my next thing to see if little Willie, the little fellers stone is in. But we're kind of ready to do some new stuff. I got my eye open for some new, some new projects and then Jennifer Lewis is working on the Keller family for little Verena that's gonna be a custom stone like the parents have welcome Dana glad to have you here yeah Nathan Nathan he probably he could have followed me here now here are some Mother's Day. Here are some flowers. Here's the best flowers I've seen so far. I wonder if these are real. Hey, we should we should be paying attention to the flowers for Mother's Day while we're here. What do you guys think? Oh, these are absolutely gorgeous. They're not real though. I do not think they are real. No. They sure are beautiful. They sure are beautiful. This is a nice setting back here. The rapture is for those who accepted Christ and asked for him forgiveness. And that's when you go to heaven, right? Ron will tell where he is after the video. I'll tell, actually I'll tell the best I can right now. I don't know the name of the cemetery, I forgot. I'm in Arlington Heights and we went to Cookie's grave, Roy Brown. So that's his last name and 
What am I doing on Mother's Day? I am taking my wife to brunch with Nathan and we have to do everything she wants. Probably gonna watch a movie. I don't know, it's like we have to follow orders. Like Father's Day, I get to do what, I, everybody has to do what I want. So that's what we gotta do. Elizabeth says, if the rapture were to happen, we wouldn't have a choice as to what we would do. You're either rising up or you face judgment. That's true. We just have to get ready. Here's some more nice flowers. I'm gonna focus a little more on the flowers, guys, because we're talking about Mother's Day. Wow, Ron, are you in Jersey? No, Rachel, or Rochelle. I'm in Arlington Heights, Illinois right now. But I don't know the name of the cemetery. I'll have to look it up and then put it in my in the description box or in the title once we run this. Bryce is in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. What an intriguing place. I love Canada. I got a trip planned for Ontario, guys. I got two big stories up there in Ontario. That's my old haunts, Ontario and Manitoba. And none of it. I spent Nunavut. Spent a lot of time there. Lots of time. Look at these columns. The Romans. Thanks, William. I will. I will tell her Happy Mother's Day. Tiny Texas is out. See you later. Brittany, Rhode Island. I'm coming to Rhode Island in August. Keep your hat on. Strap in. We've got some scary stories. It's the same for Halloween, though. But I got some other stories there, too. Don't get the rapture mixed up with the, the, lust, the Lester Raptors. This graveyard is in good shape. You are right. How's the picture? Lori says, Happy Mother's Day for all of you moms out there. Thank you for all your love and sacrifices. I, here, here. David Clark, 6'3. I got you by two inches, buddy. Ha! But Nathan has me by almost a half inch now. My son. My son's still with us. I'll bet he blew out of here. He's probably long gone. He made his appearance. Isn't this a beautiful, isn't this some beautiful architecture here? Picture's good, Larry? Thank you. Let's cruise through here. Right down the middle. Isn't this beautiful? Audio's fine, good? All right, we're about to go into the echo chamber. All right, we are gonna close it out here, guys. We're running up to an hour. So I've got an episode that's coming out, like once I, literally five minutes from now, I'll put it out. And then we've got the one tonight. Ask and you shall receive. Here's a picture. This is Dr. Earl and Charlotte. Dr. Earl, that's him. Dr. Earl passed in 1993. He was born in 1924. And Charlotte passed in three years ago. And they are united. They are together. Oh, we found a picture. Beautiful. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna close it out here. Um, I will see many of you tonight at the premiere and for the rest of you have a great weekend and have a great mother's day tomorrow all right we're taking tomorrow off this is mother's day so i'll see you guys on episodes and then i'll see you next weekend we'll probably do probably do another oh i've got a really good live stream that i'm, I'm working up for next week so i'll see you there okay all right, all right take care have a great week